Hey, this is Chloe. I'm an instructor with Brooklyn Boatworks and I'm gonna walk you through the steps of this water wheel that I made out of a bottle. Water wheels are used for a lot of different things and they have actually been used for a really long time. Like in the old days, you might have a water wheel um, next to a mill and the stream would be going by and it turns the wheel and that generates the power that grinds the grain. To make your own water wheel, you will need a plastic bottle, a stick or a dowel, really anything longer than maybe like two feet, shorter than three feet. Uh, you'll need scissors, some string of any kind, and something to use as a small weight. So number one, you're gonna take the bottle. This is what the finished one looks like. So you're gonna mark on it in four different places. So the way that you mark is you look at it from straight on and you can kind of see do, do, do. Do almost imagine that there's a compass there. Um, and then you're gonna do a shape like this. Over, down, and over to the other side. I can see that I've already drawn them and cut them on this bottle and on this bottle. The next thing you're gonna need to do is cut a hole in the bottom of it. So you can see this is the hole that I cut. It should be about the size of your finger, maybe a little bit smaller. So once you have the hole here, you already have a hole on this side of the bottle and you have your little wings of your water wheel. You're gonna take any kind of stick. I used a dowel, which is something that you can find at like Home Depot or a hardware store. Okay, everyone, check it out. So I got my water wheel set up. You can see that the curved kind of concave part of the little paddle is up, so that's good. Then I have a few different sizes of rock. You can see that the string is connected to the smallest rock, which is resting on the foot of the tub. So I have a pitcher full of water and I'm gonna pour it over the wheel. We successfully lifted the smallest rock. Let's see if we can lift a bigger one. The little tiny rock that we used before was no problem. Let's see about the medium-sized rock. Ready? Oh, geez. You can really tell that it's like straining to do it. Oh! <laughs> so we got about halfway up with this rock. Um, and I don't have a scale, so I didn't weigh them. I just used my eyes. But as you could see, we got about up to here. And that was really fascinating because I really could see that this was fighting. So the weight of the water has to be about the same or heavier to the weight of the rock, right? Because the water is pushing down on these blades and that push is what is lifting up the rock. So you could experiment with how far away you pour the water, with what type of container you use. There are so many variables which is what we call all the different things that you can change in a controlled experiment. There's so many variables with this simple project. And once you start cutting the simple little doors in there, and as long as you have something to use for these simple parts, you really can have an experiment that shows you a lot of detail. So I hope you enjoyed watching it. Tell us how yours goes. I'm very curious to see all the different experiments See if you can lift something this heavy.